Hi and welcome back to TechNut, the second part of the HP Microserver Gen 8 series. And today we're going to upgrade the system. We're going to upgrade the processor to a Xeon E3 1230B2, which will give us four cores and eight threads, alongside with 3.3 gigahertz. We're also installing 16 gigabytes of system RAM. For our system drive, we're going to use a 120 gigabyte SSD, and the storage drives will be four 3 terabytes MIDI red drives. To open the case, undo the two thumb screws and slide the cover back and up. Remove the connector in the back of the right hand side of the server. There's also a connector in the front, but we can't reach it right now. On this side, you have to remove the power cable and the SAS connector. There is also a third connector in the front, which we will remove when the motherboard is being pulled out. Push the two tabs down and release the motherboard. Remove the two connectors, one on each side, as you slide the motherboard out. On the motherboard there is a micro SD reader, an internal USB and a SATA port which we are going to use for the SSD. To remove the CPU heatsink, simply undo the four screws. After cleaning the CPU and the heatsink, remove the memory stick to give us some more room. Remove the CPU and replace it with a new one. Apply a small amount of thermal paste. Replace the CPU heatsink and tighten the screws. Insert the new RAM memory. Slide the motherboard back in and reconnect the cables as you go along. We will attach the SSD to this custom made bracket. To mount the bracket, we have to remove the screws for the power supply and slide it back. Remove the two screws on the back of the power supply. Place the bracket on the power supply and reattach the two screws. Put the power supply back in. Reattach the four screws for the power supply. We'll be using a Y splitter to split one Molex into SATA and Molex to power the SSD. For a cleaner install, you could use a flop bit to SATA power to power the SSD. Attach a SATA data cable from the SSD to the connector on the motherboard. Put the cover back on and re-tighten the thumb screws. Remove the four holders from the hard drive base. Remove the inserts from the holders. Put in the hard drives and reattach the four screws. Put the hard drives back in the base and secure them.
For ultimate performance, attach the stickers to show off your build. Our server is now upgraded and we're ready to move on to the configuration. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more.